Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 50 and we are going to use the number grid. Now do you recall what the number grid is? The number grid looks, well here is one example. The number grid can start at any number and end at any number. This one starts at 1 and ends at 100 and naturally 1 is the smallest number. It's a bit like snakes and ladders. You start at the smallest number, which is 1, and you gradually make your way up to 100. Now we're going to come back to that in a moment. We're going to start with our first example. Now suppose you have these three numbers. We've got 47, 24, and 35. We've got 47, 24, and 35. And the question is, you have to rewrite these three numbers in order, starting from the smallest number to the largest number. Now let's just write these three boxes down. You'll see these very often in workbooks or at school. Here is the smallest number and we're going to do smallest to largest. Now how are we going to do this? Well, let's have a look at our number grid. There it is from numbers 1 to 100. So what we're going to do is, what I want you to do is to plot each of these numbers that we've got 47, 24, 35 onto the number grid. And I want you to do this find out where they are and if you're just working from the computer I just want you to have a look at these and put your finger on these so find out where these three numbers are as soon as you find them now I want you to work out which one is closer to number one because we're trying to find the smallest number so which one is n the closest to number one and that is going to be number that's right, it's number 24. So let's write this down first. Okay, so we've done 24. Let's get the number grid back. Now which two numbers are left? It's either 47 or 35. Now which is the smallest number out of these two? Where is 47? And where is 35? On which rows are they? Well, 3, the 35, the 3 in 35 is the smaller number. It comes before the 4 in 47. So 35 is the next smallest number. 35. And the last one, well, we know this, the last one, is going to go here, because there are no other numbers left. So we use the number grid to go from the smallest to the largest number. That wasn't very difficult, was it? Okay. Well, we're quickly going to work through the second example. In this scenario, we're going to go from the largest to the smallest number. So let's have a look at our three numbers. 25, 43, and 38. Now, as I'm drawing these boxes, I want you to remember that even though we're using three numbers as part of our sequence in the questions you could find four five or even more numbers so this is really good for practice and once you've mastered this you'll be able to handle handle largest larger numbers as well so largest to smallest right so these are our three numbers, 25, 43, 38. And don't forget, we are trying to find the largest number. Not the smallest, but the largest. So let's pull up our number grid. So I want you to take a bit of time, work out where is 25. 25 is over here. The next one is 43, here. And lastly, the last one is 38. Okay. 
Now when you've worked out all three of these, I want you to see which one is closest to the largest number. Now we're doing numbers up to 50, but the 100 grid is perfectly fine. Which one is the closest to the number 100? Which one is the largest? On which rows are they? Well, the largest number, that's pretty easy, it is 43. Let's write this down. So that is 43. We've done that one. We've now got two numbers left. We've got 25 and 38. 25 and 38. So let's pull up our number grid. Now, which is the larger number? Look at where 25 is and look at where 38 is. Well, the 38 is on a different row. It's one row down. So 38 has to be the largest number out of these two. So the next one is 38. And that leaves just one number, 25. And there you have it. We have reordered these numbers from the largest to the smallest. And we've done this using the number grid. Now, if you did not understand how we did this using the number grid, have a little practice. Go through the practice questions, and once you go through them, you'll be able to work it out. And then you have to work on speed. Get faster and faster at this using the number grid.